lake house um for the long weekend we do this like every year and his family comes up to like his aunt and uncle and his grandma we bring his grandma up so it's just like a really good time and everyone has fun and brings a bunch of food and there's fireworks like every night so i'm excited to bring you guys with me on this journey it's just so fun being able to have an opportunity like this where we're able to kind of disconnect from life and relax so Love that, everyone needs a good relaxation moment every once in a while. Um, but right now it is Sunday morning and it's really rainy today and we we were in charge of lunch. So we have to go pick up like our Jimmy John's ordered for everybody. So I'm kind of just getting ready for that. But <clears throat> I wanted to check in and say hey because I didn't officially start off the vlog. Also, I have this like, cute little terry cloth set on from Target and it's just perfect for the lake so I really love how I pick up the camera to give you guys an update and it's blinking red. So we're gonna try and film this the best that we can. But as you can tell, I am back home. The weekend was amazing. It was really great to be able to escape a little bit, hang up and hang out, have some time with Wade's family. And we go to his parents' house every year for the 4th of July and we like bring up his grandma and his cousins come and stuff. So it's always just a good time to spend with family to be able to like pause for a second and enjoy the company and like I said I'm a really big hang up and hang out girl when I can be so that was super fun I'm excited that it's a short week and I'm kind of just excited to not be traveling too much because we Wade and I have been traveling like the past three weekends in a row with family stuff and although it's great and I'm really grateful to be spending a lot of time with family it can also be really exhausting and we're moving in like a month and a half so I'm just excited to lay low especially too because I did just start my real estate classes so it just <laughs> a lot going on so I'm kind of happy to have like a normal situation for a little bit of time where we really don't have to go anywhere hopefully um but yeah I just kind of wanted to update you guys and I hope all of you had a great and safe 4th of July oh and another random thing that just popped in my head um is I've also been kind of logging out of Instagram a lot more lately like YouTube is honestly like the main platform to keep up that I keep up on and that I enjoy posting on and I've really been I've really been digging that I go in waves of like really being really involved in social media and not and I'm in a not phase and I feel like that's good because sometimes I feel like you get so absorbed in the way other people are living you don't live enough for yourself so I'm trying to reverse that especially with me taking my real estate classes right now since I'm so busy with that and work I feel like it's giving me a good opportunity to kind of get rid of some distractions and regain my focus a little bit. I feel like I'm in the, I'm like trying to level up. Kind of like what I've talked about in some of my previous vlogs. I'm really trying to like be more mindful of where I'm putting my energy. And I love putting my energy into you guys obviously. So, I yeah, I feel good about that and I feel like it's good to listen to yourself and kind of give yourself that like mental clarity and mental space to really reevaluate where you're putting your time and energy. I don't know. Random food for thought. But that's among my updates of whatever's going on. 
Basil has just joined me here. But I'm going to finish watching some other YouTubers that I love to watch and chill for the rest of the evening. It's like 7.30 now. I might go on a walk. I don't know. We've been out in the sun. As you can tell, I'm quite crisp. So I might just chill. But I need to charge the camera. So it's the next day. I just got home from work and it is a literal scorcher outside. I don't know what it is with the weather in the Midwest. I feel like in general, but it's either like Arizona heat or raining. So right now we're back in the Arizona heat, but I got some stuff from Target for my groceries. So I'm gonna give you guys a little haul. Wait, and I get some stuff at Target because we have a super Target right by us. So we get a lot of our like pantry goods from there. And then we get all of our produce and like fresh things like meat and stuff at Whole Foods because that's by our work. So we usually like split it up, order online. He picks up one, I pick up the other. In case you guys are curious, that's how I do it. I know in college and stuff, I was always curious about like how other people like did their groceries and what they did. I found working full time that like grocery pickup and online pickup and stuff is like the easiest. Like I do curbside. I order through the app with Target and pick up curbside and then Whole Foods, you can order on Amazon and pick up like curbside. So those are the vibes in case you wanted to know, but let's get into the little haul. Okay. Wade wanted rice cakes, the chocolate kind. These are our favorite protein bars, the Power Crunch ones. I've been wanting to make like those protein boxes that you can get at Starbucks. So I got these like trail mix mixes to put with the like eggs and cheese and stuff. Then we got Dave's bread, our fave kind of bread. And I like these cereal bars as kind of like a pre-workout sometimes instead of like a protein bar. And then we got the essential paper plates. I know they're not the best for the environment, but sometimes you just don't feel like doing dishes. Kodiak cakes, our fave. And then I got, I got a jar of pickles. One, because hot girls love pickles, but two, because one of my recipes this week, I wanted to make, you know those like pinwheels that your mom brings to a party when you're like 10? I wanted to make those again and bring them for lunch and stuff, especially with my classes. I feel like it was like a, it's like a good quick meal or for lunch or whatever. It's just like quick and easy. Cube cheese for the protein bowls. Wade really likes the Greek yogurt. And I got chive and onion cream cheese for the pinwheels. And then I got extra creamy oat milk. And this is like one of the better dairy-free creamers in my um, personal opinion. Again, I wish things were cleaner. I have, I still like my Elmhurst cashew milk for my protein shakes and that's a really clean milk. But you know, like I said, you pick your vices. I like oat milk with my coffee, so sue me. Oh, and then Always enjoy a good chip or two, so I got these. These are superior, and I rebought these because we ate them all weekend long, and we just simply needed another bag. And like I said, they'd be good for like lunches and stuff. So, yay! <laughs> this is my thumbnail. Pretty funny, but that's a little Target haul. And then at Whole Foods, we pretty much just got like a lot of fruits and vegetables, ground beef. Just the usual staples, really. Fruits, but vegetables, and meat. So that's it on that. I'm gonna put these chips down, put everything away, and I'm gonna go on my hot girl walk. <laughs> to give you guys a little bit of an app of the day before I head out the door. Um, it is a school day and a work day for me, so I like to dress for success on those days so that way I feel good because I definitely get confidence from my clothes. So this is today's little look. These pants are from Old Navy. I think they're called like their pull-on pant or something like that. And then I just got this top to match these actually from Abercrombie. It's like a linen boxy crop tee and I feel like it's also just good with denim like just kind of like a classy top and then I have this little cardigan on from H&M that I've literally had forever and my office is freezing so it comes in handy quite often and then my accessories are the same per usual but just wanted to share my little OOTD. <laughs> I am going to... <coughs> I'm 
I'm back from class. I'm in my bathroom. I'm getting ready for the night. It's like 10 o'clock now and I'm so tired. Today in class we went over like two units. We usually only do one, sometimes two, but for some reason the two that we did today were just extra exhausting and I'm starting to get a little overwhelmed because there's just, please ignore this in the background. The protein shake, Wade works out in the morning. I, you know, some people like shower drinks. I don't know, that's his story to tell, not mine, but. Um, yeah, I'm just exhausted, rightfully so. I mean, I worked a full day and then went to class for four hours, but the hard part about that is like, in some ways I feel like taking this class is like enjoyable and easy, especially because I just got out of college like a few years ago. So studying and stuff is still like pretty normal to me. But I mean, it's just like when you're going over information and like you're trying to be present and trying to like retain this stuff. But yeah, <laughs> it's just hard. Like my brain is just not working. And I... I'm just starting to get a little overwhelmed. I think I'm gonna make um, a Quizlet with a lot of the terms and stuff because I'm realizing that a lot of this stuff is really about the terminology and I feel like as long as I get that down for the most part, I'll be able to like piece other things together. And especially since I currently work in real estate, like most things for me are not like too far-fetched because I am surrounded by a lot of things daily and hear a lot of things through like Wade's deals or my boss's deals or whatnot. So it's like some stuff isn't that new. It's just like the terminology and to what extent I need to know about it is different and because when you go to get your real estate exam or something like everything's taught in like the residential format and like for instance I work in commercial real estate which is like less common than residential so some things are just like a little different terms are used differently certain things I'm like not going to need to know because I'm not selling homes at this point in time but I might in the future I mean I don't really know so needless to say it's just it's just a lot and I need to, the good thing is like now since we're not traveling anymore, this is like my second week of classes. So now that we're not traveling, I can kind of just really hone in on like what I need to do as far as like retaining information and what's going to work the best for me to make sure I'm understanding everything. So that's next on my to-do list when it comes to all of the school stuff. I'm sorry if that bored anybody who is not in real estate. Um... That's just my life right now. <laughs> That's my life. But at the end of it all, I'm really excited about it. Sorry I keep itching my nose too. I just have allergies. Like it's just, it's been a whole thing. But overall I'm excited. I, I feel good. Like I said, I feel good investing in myself and it's like exciting to learn about. It can just be really overwhelming because there's just a lot. Like it feels like you're drinking from a fire hose. And my teacher told me that literally from day one. That's how it's going to feel like. Because we're fitting in like this whole thing and like, two months so it is a lot like basically a month and a half so it's kind of like an accelerated program and to think there's programs quicker than this is like crazy but anyway I'm trying to keep up we're still rallying we're still doing the best we can um, I just wanted to check in and say hey I'm alive well they do need sleep good morning besties we are doing a quick out for the day before I head out for work I feel like I have one brain cell left and I usually work from home on Fridays, but since it's a short week, I volunteered to come in. Like I didn't have to, but I wanted to. So here's the fit. I'm just saying that this morning, it's a bit rough. I'm ready, ready for the weekend. But I got these new pants from Zara, new to me, not to Zara. I think they're called like the ZW something or another, but they have them in a lot of different colors and they're really like comfortable. I, the thing I like about Zara's jeans is a lot of them have a lot of elastic in them. So they're just like very stretchy, which is nice when you're like sitting all day. And then this knit cardigan is from Burge Girl. And this simple tank is from um, Aritzia. I really love Aritzia's basics. So that's those are the vibes. And then I wore my platform Converse to um, complement 
the pants. Sorry, again. Brain barely working this morning, but we look cute. As you can tell, it is quite a bit later. I don't even remember literally like the last time I checked in with you guys. Um, I think it was this morning. I showed you guys my outfit, but I went to work. Obviously, I had a work, good work day, and then I went to the gym after work and talked to my sister on my way home from the gym, so that's always nice. And I had a pretty good workout. Um, it was definitely tough. It was my first leg day in probably like a week, so that was tough. I really don't think I'm ever going to have a leg day that's like not going to make me want to throw up, but... It was still good. I know I'm going to be sore tomorrow. Um, right now I'm cooking dinner. I'm just doing um, this like, I saw this like Alfredo pasta. What am I saying? My brain's like so not working right now. But I found this Alfredo pasta on Pinterest. And it's with like ground beef, Alfredo sauce. I did chickpea pasta. And then I'm going to do broccoli on the side. So I think that'll be a fun little dinner. Yeah, I'm excited for the weekend to kind of just chill tonight i don't think wade and i are doing anything either we are both like very exhausted and as you could tell my brain from today and yesterday is just like honestly this three-day week having like a long weekend into a three-day work week is just kind of a recipe for disaster to be completely honest um so i'm excited to have this weekend to kind of just like reset and refocus i also have to kind of get a lot of schoolwork in gear because now my class is like really Pick it up steam, so I have to, I made like a Quizlet, and I, I think I talked about that last night, that I was going to do that, so I did that today. I made a Quizlet, and I also added more vocab, and I think I might do like a chapter outline as well, just to kind of make sure I get like the processes of everything. Also very random, but as I was playing with my hair, like a bunch of my hair came out, and I think I'm entering my phase of getting off my birth control, where like, my hair starts to thin a little bit. I feel like I've noticed, I mean, it's also summer too, so I think that's a little hard to tell, but I've been noticing my hair just shedding a lot more than normal. So that's that's a fun little side note, fun little thing that's been going on for me. But anyway, I kind of just have to get all my shit together. Another thing before I go is that my sister and I decided that we're gonna be like no social media, which is basically like Instagram and TikTok for the rest of the month. So if you wanna do that, Hop on in, we can all do it together. I'll keep you guys updated with all that as well. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys have had a great week and I will see you in my next vlog.